Hi everyone and welcome back to the course. Before jumping into the basics of Python, I actually wanted to talk first about one of the most important things when working with Python or any other programming language. And this is how to control the version. For example, if I write here Python dash dash version, you will get a version of Python. And also every type of library that you install in your project also has a version. So in many cases, if you tried running a project that was using older Python or other library versions, this might not work in your computer. And for that reason, today I'm going to talk about the difference between the global and local Python environment and how you can control those in order for your project to always work. So let's open PyCharm and I will explain you exactly what I mean. So before opening the PyCharm actually, I want you to create a folder in which we're going to create all the projects that we'll be working on in this section. So I will just create here a new folder and I will call it section 3 and inside this folder we'll create all of our Python projects. So let's now talk about what is a global environment. A global environment, this is the Python version that is installed in your computer and all the libraries that are installed in your computer, but they are not local to the project. For example, if you write Python 3, actually let's write where Python 3, you will see where your Python interpreter is located. And this is the default version that every Python script will be using in order to execute. You can also write where PyTest and you will see where the PyTest is installed. So this is installed in the frameworks, Python frameworks, versions. 3.10 and this is PyTest. So this is the default version that PyTest is going to be using. So let's say if you create a project on that version but in the next version something changes then your project will not be able to work with the new version. So let's create PyCharm project and I will show you how you can control that. So let's write PyCharm. Okay, let's create a new project and let's choose our section 3 folder. So I will select desktop section 3. Okay, let's add slash and I will call this one calculator, which is actually going to be the name of our first project, which we will talk about in detail in the next video. But let's see what other things we have here. So in PyCharm, when you create a project, you have something called local environment, right? And this is right here. It is immediately created in your local directory. So when I create calculator, you have a folder called VNV, which means a Python virtual environment. In this virtual environment, you will have the version of Python 3 that you saw there, but this will be local to your project. So your project will always use this virtual environment. And in that way, even though the global Python version changes, the project will use only the virtual environment. So it will use nothing else than this folder in order to execute. So even if I delete Python from my computer, this folder will still contain the Python version needed for the project to run. Okay, so let's create our project. Okay, so here on the left hand side, you can see our virtual environment and you should take a real close look at the right bottom corner because here will be the current Python interpreter or the Python version version that we're using. So if I select that, you can see that we're using the virtual environment from the calculator project. So if I select interpreter settings, you can see all the packages that we currently have installed into our virtual environment. So for example, let's create a new file here. Let's create a new item file and let's call it test1. And so for example, if I try to import here, PyTest, this is not recognized. And the reason for that, even though we have it installed in our computer, this is still underlined in red. The reason for that is because it is not installed in this virtual environment right here, even though it is installed in our computer. So now if I want to install PyTest here in PyCharm, it is enough to hover over PyTest and install the package. So let's do install anyway. Now you can see here in the bottom that the package gets installed. Let me write my credentials. And so the easiest way to install that is to simply hover over it and select install package. And you can see that now this gets installed and the red underlining under PyTest is completely removed. And this is the way that you can install everything you need in your local package. So you don't need to worry about what's installed in your device. And this is always going to be part of your project. Now, another cool thing about PyCharm 
is that if you select terminal, you're immediately into your virtual environment. So you can run your code from here and you have all the packages installed. Obviously, for the introductory videos for Python, you wouldn't need PyTest, but it is good to know how to install package and manage your virtual environment. So just to recap, the best practice is if you have a project with virtual environment set inside it. In PyCharm, you can use your virtual environment, which has the Python version and all the libraries that you desire to install. You can assess it from here and you can see what you currently have. For example, in this project, I changed to Python 3.10, which is the last Python version. And if I would like to install any type of libraries, I can simply do pipe install. And let's say we would like to install Flask. Then Flask is going to get installed into your virtual environment as well. So if I close that and open it again, you can see that Flask now has been installed in my current virtual environment, but not in my device. And this is how guys who are going to be working throughout the course, so you can keep a very good control over your versions. Thanks for watching guys, and I will see you in the next video.